guys um welcome to my channel my name is natalia and today i have a little post review of this lovely diamond painting from diamond shop or diy moon shop um i call them diamond shop because i've heard that's how they call themselves um but i'm sure both versions are correct uh, so here's the name of the shop on, on the bottom of the canvas uh, so I just finished this painting yesterday and I just wanted to share it with you um, show you what it, what it looks like finished uh, I have to say that I really really enjoyed working on this painting it may be even my favorite painting so far that I've worked on um, it was just it was just perfect honestly um, uh, it's it's a small it's, it's a small size painting so it's only 42 by 30 um so i've got a legend here 42 by 30. uh so you could call it a snack size um really it didn't take me very long i've been working on on lots of other things in the meantime and this was just kind of um you know i did a few hours here a few hours here and and then uh on a, a couple days ago i had a longer a few hours session just to finish that that last bit and and then uh, finished a, a little bit last night um but it didn't take me long at all uh, I think it's actually a perfect size for this artwork. So this uh, painting uh, was originally painted by Carla Gerard. It's a licensed artwork, so that means that uh, Carla is getting paid for her work, which is wonderful. Uh, so Diamond Shop um, is very good with, with the fact that they're licensing all of their artwork. Uh, and um, I just love this painting. I think it's a beautiful piece of artwork. And I think this is actually a really, really good size and maybe perfect size for it for, for me. Of course, you could go bigger, but I don't, I don't think I would need to go bigger on this one at all. Um, I mean, you can see all of the details um, because it's, you know, it's not a very, very detailed painting. Um, uh, it's, it's actually a really lovely size as well. If you'd want to frame it, it wouldn't take a lot of space on your wall. I may frame it one day. I'm not really sure yet, uh, but I think it's a really good candidate for, for I, I think it would work really nice with my decor as well. So, so who knows? Uh, if I frame it, I will definitely share that with you guys as well. Uh, so... Um, what should I start with? Um, in terms of, I, I didn't have any issues in terms of the canvas of the fabric itself. Um, it's it's perfect as you can see. There's no no creasing anyway uh, anywhere on the canvas. No creasing at all. Um, there isn't anything really to worry about. It came to me in a perfect condition, and um, I've had no issues working with it. I think it's a really nice material. It's it's very sturdy. Um, uh, it doesn't have um, scallop edges, but it's it's not been fraying at all, uh, so it comes with that little frame. I know that um, the actually Diamond Shop have changed their canvases now, so if you're ordering from them, you're probably going to get a different canvas. Uh, I think they're even improved, so if this was already good, then the new one will be even better. And so this canvas came to me um, with a legend that's that's called a walking legend, which is separate from the canvas itself. But as far as I know, all of their paintings now include the legend as part of the painting. So I think you, you still get the frame, um, but I think it's that, that the legend is kind of is attached um, to the painting. So you can cut it off at the end when you're done with, with the painting, uh, I believe. But I haven't ordered from them since they've changed. So, so um, you know, I, I'm sure like there's lots of other creators that have uh, unboxings from them with the new canvases. So you can check them out. And if I do order from them again, then I'll, of course, share that with you as well. Um, so I've had lots of leftover drills. Um, I have to say the quality of the drills was very, very good. I maybe had a few drills that um, that were a little bit misshaped, but I don't know. If it was it was just a few for the whole canvas, uh, uh, so very, very, very little trash. Um, I had a few of these smaller bits, um, but nothing, nothing major. Really, just kind of um, you know standard things that you'd always see with drills, uh, but in a very small amount. Um, I uh, so I collected my trash with with some other paintings, uh, but it's, uh, even even then there was very very little of it, uh, so nothing to be worried about. Um, I think the the colors uh, are lovely, uh, so I didn't run out of any of them. So here are my leftover drills. Um, don't know if you can actually see, but um, basically, you know they're they're all there. I I have quite a lot of leftover drills. Um, so because I got this canvas as part of a promo, I got special treatment drills with it for free. 
so normally you can order, you can request special treatment uh, as part of your order um, for most paintings uh, with Diamond Shop. For me, I got mine for free and I've used up, uh, so I got two ABs, um, one lighter blue and one darker blue and um, a pack of special gems as well. So if we look closer at the canvas, uh, we can see where they are. So so it's up to you where you put your special drills. Um, the gems, uh, these big ones, were designed to go in the middle, in the middle of these little circles. Yeah, so, so you can see them in the different circles. So these are the gems. And then here, actually, on this angle, you can see where I've, where I've put my uh, lighter blue ABs. So the lighter blue ABs are meant to be scattered throughout the, the background. So so these are the, the kind of the blue spots that you see everywhere. Um, these are my blue blue ABs. Uh, so I've actually, the light blue ABs, I also added them into the wing of the bird, uh, which I forgot to say before. Um, so that was not something that was suggested by Diamond Shop, that was actually my own uh, kind of initiative. Uh, so basically I noticed that the colors inside of the wing, um, like here, are very similar to the colors in the background. And I thought actually these um, blue uh, blue ABs could work quite well in the wing, so I've added, added some to the wing itself. And I've also added a little bit to the tail of the bird. Um, so these are also the lighter blue blue ABs that kind of go along the edges here of the, the, the lighter blue color. Uh, so that's also just I decided to add some there. And I think um, I've also added a few in the color of the bird. Um, so kind of so along along the edges of the color, I added a few ABs there as well. Uh, so they, they are quite sparkly. I wouldn't say they're as sparkly as like, let's say ABs from Diamond Art Club. Uh, but I can I can see them, uh, you know, when I look very closely, I can see that they're ABs. Um, and they, they more stand out because they're between other colors. Uh, I think I think if they're in the same color, it would be really hard to say that they're actually ABs. I don't know. They're just not, not as sparkly as some other ABs I've had in the past. Um, and then there's the darker blue ABs. Uh, so I've used up all of my lighter blue ABs because there's quite a lot of background and I, I just went on and, and I just scattered them throughout the whole painting. Um, and the darker blue ABs, I didn't use them all, um, so I kind of kept them. Uh, I, I've used quite a few throughout the bird, but I thought, you know, there's not actually that much um, in the bird. Uh, so I would have to replace a lot of normal drills uh, with with the ABs. And I thought, um, you know, maybe it's too much. Uh, I wasn't sure. And so I thought I may just keep them for, for some other day. Um, so that's what they look like. Okay. Um, yeah, so so that's about the the special treatment drills. Um, I found it a bit kind of strange that I had to decide where to put them myself, but also in a way it's nice because and uh, that makes the painting your own uh, when you decide where you want to put your special drills. So so in a way that's really nice. Um, although I think for like a larger canvas I would struggle a little bit uh, with deciding where to put them uh, because this one is fairly small. It wasn't too hard. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I, I think maybe I prefer when the companies actually chart them in uh, rather than me deciding myself. Um, but also it was kind of fun to do that. Um, yeah, so what else? What else? When one thing I was a little bit surprised about was when I was when I first started working on the canvas, I was expecting a little bit different colors to what we're seeing here. Uh, I will actually try and put a picture of uh, one corner of the canvas without the drills on and then with the drills on just to kind of demonstrate to you guys what I mean. Um, and if you look at the picture, hopefully you can see that actually the colors on the on the canvas that, that were printed were a little bit different from from when you place the drills. Uh, so for example, um, let's say if we look at these circles, the uh, what you see here as black drills were actually printed as green. So I thought this was going to be green. Um, same here, I actually thought this whole circle was going to be green. So the, the black drills were printed as dark green and the brown ones were printed as light green. So I thought this was going to be green. And same for the leaves. I thought the leaves were going to be light green, uh, but they they actually brown. Uh, so that's the only thing that surprised me a little bit, that the actual printing on the canvas was different from 
and what I got with the drills. Um, but I wouldn't say it's worse. I think it's just different. Uh, but I still really enjoy the artwork. I still really enjoy the colors. Uh, it's just, um, I found it a little bit surprising. Um, in a way, it was kind of fun discovering what it's going to look like um, because um, it was kind of hard to tell from just the printing itself. Uh, so, so you kind of you got a little bit surprised when you place the drills. <laughs> so, in a way, that in a way that's nice. So, I'm not sure. Like in a way, maybe I would like the leaves to be green. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I've seen. I can't tell what actually the original painting was like um, because I've seen both both a uh, version with the green and with yellow and i don't know now if the painter actually painted it with green or with yellow <laughs> but um, i think i would personally maybe prefer the leaves to be green um especially i'm not such a big fan of brown uh but it's i think it's still beautiful and it's uh, i don't know if you can see it but the drills are very very sparkly as well very sparkly um yeah so I don't know if, if I'm missing anything. I had no issues with the glue, no, very little, no, pretty much no issues with, with the drills, no issues with the canvas. So really I have nothing to complain about. Hi guys, one little thing I forgot to mention in my original video, so I'm just going to insert it here. Um, it's I forgot to talk about the clarity of the symbols and in this case, in the case of this canvas, this is actually quite an important point. So again, I know that Diamond Shop have changed their their canvases now, uh, So and, and I think also they've changed the way they actually uh, the symbols that they use. So I've seen on a recent unboxing, uh, I, I think it was from Lisette Crafts and Tells, um, I saw that actually um, the symbols now match. That this, uh, so let's say for, for the first color, the symbol is one, and for the second, two, and three, and four, which I, if, if that's the case, I'm very excited about that because I've always wanted companies to start doing that. I just think that's that's fantastic. Uh, and it makes it so much easier to keep up as well and then to keep track of where your, where your containers are uh, and find them more easily. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is not actually the symbols themselves, it's more the clarity of them. Uh, so I've not had as much issue of distinguishing between the symbols. It's more actually sometimes I had a really hard time trying to figure out what they even are. Uh, so let's say this one, 598. I still don't know what the symbol is. Uh, the only way that I could actually that I knew what paint, what uh, diamonds to put, what color to put on the symbol is because that was the only one that I didn't know what it was on that shade of blue. There were some other ones, so so for example, um, we had this, so I, I can see that this is meant to be a hashtag, the 961, sorry, my camera is having struggle, okay, so 961 is meant to be a hashtag, but it's very, very hard to tell from the legend, and it's very, very hard to tell on the canvas itself. So I hope that on the new canvas, they've improved the printing of the symbols, because that is one thing that I have to say I struggled with is actually distinguishing what the symbols are in the first place. So I went more by the shades of the background than the symbols themselves, because a lot of them were so hard to read. And they're also, even the ones that you can read are very, very blurry. Uh, um, and the, the legend is tiny. It's very small. Like I think that's why my camera is struggling so much. Uh, it's actually really hard to see even on the legend what the symbols are. So if I was to complain about anything, that would be it. Uh, to make the printing clearer, uh, to make and to make the legend bigger, so I can sh actually see what the symbols are on the legend, uh, because I feel like I needed a magnifying glass for this. Uh, so that's actually the only thing. Uh, I thought it was important to insert that in the video. Uh, sorry for the interruption, and <laughs> enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> um, I got it on promo, so um, but even then, it was on the expensive side. For this size of painting, you, you have to spend quite a lot of money. And as I said, I haven't ordered from Diamond Shop since, and the only reason is that it's not really affordable for me in my current situation. I would love to order. There are so many paintings from them that are just beautiful, and I keep looking at them. Uh, but it's just um, the shipping as well, the shipping costs. Uh, so I'm in the UK, and in the UK, I think I have to spend um, over $40, $40 to ship one canvas, one small painting. Uh, so basically, well, if I if, like when I was looking last time at the painting that I'd really like, which wasn't even a very big painting, I would have to spend um, 112 pounds, uh, which is, I think, I don't know, 150 or 160 US dollars. Um, 
for one one painting which was like 40 by 50 and I just uh, this is not really a possibility for me right now but maybe one day I can treat myself again and then I will definitely share that with you guys as well um I hope you enjoyed this post review um let me know in the comments what you think of this painting um do you think you'd order it um what you know have you ordered from diamond shop any other paintings and what was your experience uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, uh, you can give me a like. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel. And if you do, make sure that you hit that notification bell to get notified about any new videos that I post. Uh, thank you so much for, for visiting today. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day or lovely night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next time. Bye!